Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the all-new 2022 Integra Cornerstone. So what I'm most excited about this year is the new exterior graphics. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for to see what the next thing was going to be because we've kind of had the swirls, which are gorgeous, um, for years. So I knew that there was something new coming. I love the look of the graphics. I just think they're sleek and sexy and, you know, Integras have always popped. Well, I think that these pop just as well. Great new colors. This is the Red Horizon very popular and there's several other that are very popular as well so i can't wait for you to see the whole lineup one of the things that integra is known for is the wrap around windshield so you have great visibility as you're going down the road and then that's what i always like to point out these big windshields are like motion picture movie screens so you're going down you're driving through zions you're driving through national parks and you just get to see it all it's so beautiful you sit up high you feel like you're like you know, important in charge. <laughs> it's just always fun to drive a Class A diesel. If you've never done it, you make, you gotta put it on your list and come and try one. So let's go to the top. We've got our uh, first camera. That is gonna be one of the four cameras that contributes to a 360 bird's eye view of the coach when you're driving. Something I really like and I'll be excited to show you when we get there. Integra has given us new graphics on the front cap and then we have the Integra, which is backlit. I always love that because it looks so good in the campground and on the road at night. You can see this coach coming and going. And then of course we have the beautiful sea lights, which my customers like to refer to as the show off lights. When you come into a campground with a bunch of Integras in it at night, like I have done at our AIM Club rallies, which is our all-inclusive motorhome club, and you see the coaches with their sea lights on, they just look fantastic. So they are kind of the show-off lights. A lot of people ask me what this square is right here in the center of the bottom of the front cap of the coach. That is basically your sensor for your adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation system. The cornerstone comes standard with the chrome uh, convex exterior mirrors. Now you're gonna have a camera in that mirror and that's going to be the camera when you turn on your turn signals. So you can see down the full length of the side of the coach, which is really nice when you're driving. They are also uh, internally controlled and have defrost on them. Then we've got our first marker light for the passenger side of the coach and first blind spot monitor um, sensor here. A couple new big, big features for 2022. Um, first of all, not the biggest feature, <laughs> they gave us a doorbell. So we finally get a doorbell on our Integras, which is just kind of fun. And then the biggest thing that I think they added in 2022 is that we have push button doors. So if you look down the side of this coach, you'll see that there's no more handles. You just push the button and they pop open. So I love that. Just to give you a little example, we're gonna push that. Oh. Now it lit up red, so that means that the door is locked, so I'm going to have to use my key fob to unlock the doors. They've also given us a backup for the doors too, so say we have some kind of electrical issue where we don't have power to the coach, I have a backup key that's right here where I can go ahead and open up the door with that. So I'm just gonna grab my key fob here, and when I hit the unlock button, you'll see that all the lights will light up green. So green light, and they're, they're now unlocked, so I can just push the button. And how about that? Don't you love that? And then if for some reason they won't work, I've got my key right here as a backup. Several ways that you can get into your cornerstone, so you can use your obviously your keys, your key fob, or you have the keyless entry pad, so you can set your own unique code to get in. So if you wanna let the friends in or a service technician in while you're away from your coach, you can easily do that. 
This is the first docking light for the passenger side of the coach. Docking lights are super important. That's what's gonna protect your coach as you're uh, backing into a campground at night. I'm gonna point this out while we're outside, but you'll also notice this when I'm in the co-captain's chair inside. I love that we've got this big window here and there's no screen obstructing my view while I'm, you know, the passenger going down the road. I love that. So uh, you'll see in the storage compartments that there's a screen that you can actually place into the door, but you don't have to have that up if you don't want it up while you're traveling, but it's something that you will want possibly when you're in the campground. Right next to the door handle, we have the fuel fill for the 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. This is for the passenger side. It's dual fill, so you can fill it on the driver's side as well. The Cornerstone sits on the Michelin 365 tires on the front, 315 on the back. Nothing but the best with Michelin tires. Something I also want to talk to you about is Retroband. It is an exclusive run flat device that is only sold by National Indoor RV Centers. It has been tested, it has been proven, and we've got version two coming out any day now. So uh, you can go to retroband.com and put your name on the waiting list so that you can get one of the first sets. I promise you it is a safety feature that I wouldn't take my family in my coach without having it on there. So again, run flat device. If you were to have a front end blowout and your rim hits a road, it's very hard to maintain control of your coach with Retroband. That Retroband actually sits about four inches above the rim. So you can drive on it safely to the side of the road, off the exit. Anyway, I've got a whole video on it. You can go check my old video or I'll be doing a new one soon. But again, go to Retroband.com. Integra also gives us the beautiful aluminum wheels with the Alcoa finish. A couple of things that contribute to the sleek, beautiful look of the Cornerstone is we've got the flush mounted side um, slide out rooms. So you can see they go right in very um, low tolerance for error there, So, but it just makes it look nice and sleek. There's no edge that hangs out over the side that's gonna catch the wind. You also have the integrated awnings, which make this look more bus-like. And then we have the dual pane frameless tinted windows throughout. Finally, time to check out the storage. Again, love those push button doors. So our first compartment here is our slide out tray with our Dometic refrigerator freezer on there. Look at how far that comes out. That means that you can have your slide room out plus be able to get into your refrigerator freezer. And you're gonna set the temperature on that right here. So if you wanna make those both freezer or both refrigerator, if you just want it for drinks for tailgating, you can easily, easily just turn this into your refrigerator, keep your drinks cold. And in this compartment too, we also have our remote for the Girard awning. So we're just ready to get the party started here. We want to go ahead and click through our options. So double zero will bring out both awnings at the same time. If I want to just bring out the front awning, I can go to one, just the back awning, I go to two. But typically, if I've got my awnings out, I'm going to bring them both out together. Check out the amount of shade that you get with these beautiful Gerard awnings. They've got the Nova pitch, so you have that extra angle to give you more shade. This is a great way to enjoy the outdoors. Now, a little word to the wise, I would never put my awnings out if I'm not gonna be outside enjoying the shade from the awnings, just because you never know when a big gust of wind will come along and uh, can really cause some damage to them. Recently, had an, we were at an AIM rally in Granby, Colorado, five o'clock at night, this big gust of wind came up. A few people weren't able to get theirs in quite quick enough. There is a shake sensor, so they should go in. But again, if you're not outside with your awnings, using them around the coach, I wouldn't have them out. Now we also have an LED light strip that you can turn on from inside the coach, from your Vega Touch, from the app on your phone. Um, and that just gives you a little extra lighting at night that's nice. Now that we've got our awnings out, we've got our cooler full of drinks, it's time to turn on the game, right? So we can go to our exterior TV. We've got our 43 inch Samsung TV 
and it's on a swivel and a tilt. That tilt is super important. I love that because it just does it easily. I don't have to turn any levers or anything. A few other things to look at here. We've got the two 110 outlets. We've got the JBL speakers and we can control them here. Just turn that on. We can go to radio. We can go to our, our Bluetooth music. We can put it on the TV volume, or if you want to pipe it from the dash radio, so you've got Sirius radio up front at the dash and you want to put that out here so you can enjoy that, you can easily do that right there. And a USB charging port as well. One of the things that the Cornerstone is known for is huge storage compartments. So I must agree, and I think you will too, they come standard with the power pass-through tray. Just check out how big this tray is. And then the real impressive part, I'm gonna do this before I... Now, I wanna make a note here. <laughs> this cornerstone is actually our owners. So you're gonna see that we've got things in the storage compartments and there'll be uh, his stuff inside the coach as well, just so you know. Um, but it is nice to kind of have there because you can see how much stuff how tall the bins can be. It will give you some perspective, so I actually like it. One of the things I really like is you probably have the most space from the bottom of the chassis rail to the top of the storage bin in the cornerstone than any other coach um, that I've been in recently. So let me just tell you what that is. You have 19 inches. So 19 inches for your pass-through. So this bin, for example, which is pretty tall, is probably about 18 with this slip here. 18 and that easily passes through to both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend this just so you can see how big that tray is, how far it comes out. And another feature I really like is that say this is super heavy and I just want to slide it off the end of my pass-through tray. I can just take that lip down. Now I can easily slide that out or slide it back on. So it's going to save the back. In this first bay, we have a quick connect airline. So if you want to, you know, your diesel engine is a huge compressor. If you needed to actually air up your tires from this line, you could. Um, I show you how to do that in my RV and 101 series if you want to check that out. Also, we have two 110 available outlets in here. Second pass-through tray, and these pass-through trays come standard along with the power is standard on the cornerstone. Here we have all the hoses for our central vac and attachments. Again, look at how much we have on this tray. We have a few extra tiles in case we have any pop tiles. And then this is what I was talking about earlier. Inside this is our screen door. So if we wanna pop that in place, very easy to do so. You just have little tabs that you put over um, four different locations on this and then you have your screen door for when you're camping. Move the four tabs into place and there's your screen door. Lots of things in the fourth baggage compartment here. So it's a little bit smaller, but there's a lot going on in here. So, so we have the inverter on and off switch here. Behind this panel, All right, over here, we've got a backup where we can bring our slide rooms in. Actually, just put a paper clip into these holes and you can do the slides this way. We also have here where we can tie our batteries together. So that's basically our battery boost when we tie our house and our chassis batteries together. And I'll talk more about that at the dash. And then we've got fuses here and they are nicely labeled for us to make it easy. You will also notice that we've got a vent here. So the basement is heated and that's huge. So when, if you happen to have a freeze like we did in Texas last year, you're not gonna have to worry about your basement freezing. And you can actually see the temperature from inside your coach on your Vega Touch. Two 110 outlets. 
central vac hookup here so we can connect the hose. We can vacuum out our nice storage compartments. We can vacuum, pull up the car next to it and vacuum out the car. Really nice. Control panel for our solar panels. Now back in here, we've got our batteries. We've got the L16 batteries for the cornerstone. And above here, we have the splitter for our camera. That's gonna bring in those four different views to give us that bird's eye view. Here we have our battery disconnects for the cornerstone. Now you wanna make sure you disconnect those if you are storing your coach where you're not plugged into 50 amp service like you are at National Indoor RV Centers. Where at all of our locations we store uh, at least 300 coaches at each location, indoors, plugged into 50 amp service at all time. Uh, you don't need to winterize. Basically it's full valet service. We will take care of you. You just come in, drop your coach off, We'll take it from there. Let us know when you want to pick it up. If you can get us, give us 24 hours notice, we love it, but we will take care of you either way. Um, and it just makes owning a coach super easy and you can go on a whim if you'd like. Midship on the cornerstone, we've got our passenger side security light, which is does have a motion sensor on it. And then we have our next camera that's going to contribute to our 360 bird's eye view. Now this storage compartment, you can actually see your fresh water tank. So you can see how full it is. Just visually, you have a 100 gallon fresh water tank, 61 gallon uh, gray tank, and 42 black tank. I like this compartment. They've, uh, you can actually attach a Velcro to this if you wanted to add, you know, hang some hoses in here, little space for storage there. And right here, this is where you could fill your tank with potable water. Um, say you're dry camping, this is how you'd fill your tank, or if you want to sanitize your tank, this is where you do that. Second marker light for the cornerstone, second docking light, and then we've got our second blind spot monitoring sensor. Now we're right here at the tag axle. We have the passive stair tag axle. You can always tell if you have a passive stair tag axle if your tag axle, I do it like belly buttons, innies and outies. So we've got an innie here. Audi, if your Audi tag axle matches your front axle, then you know you've got a passive steer tag axle, which is going to give you a tighter turning radius and less worry about getting that tire scrub. Our third and final blind spot monitor sensor for the passenger side of the coach. Also want to note that we have the beautiful stainless steel trim throughout uh, the bottom of the coach that comes standard on the cornerstone. Our DEF fill, so that's diesel exhaust fluid for the passenger side of the coach. You can also fill that on the driver's side of the coach, which is really nice. The truckers at truck stops really don't like it if you have to flip your coach around to fill your fuel and then your DEF. So that's a nice option that they give you. DEF uh, doesn't like sunlight or heat. So something just to think about, um, you know, and it has a shelf life of about one year. So just remember that when you're um, buying your DEF, when you're filling your tank, also you don't want to get crystals, um, crystallization inside your DEF tank or that can throw some error codes for you as well. Just above the DEF tank, Spartan has given us an area where we can manually fill our air suspension if we need to. So great to always have a backup. And then just to the side of that, you've got this pull tag here where you can bleed out any moisture out of your line if needed. And I typically do that before every trip. Our last compartment for the passenger side houses our chassis batteries. So we've got our two chassis batteries. They've lowered them so it's easier to change those out if we need to. Also we have our chassis battery disconnect. So just like the house battery disconnect, you wanna make sure you disconnect those batteries if you're not uh, lucky enough to be one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers because you, you don't want to have any parasitic draw on your batteries. Now this is the power control or power management center for the back half of the coach. Say you have a tail light that goes out, the fuse is going to be right um, behind this little cap here. Then we have the air dryer and the fuel filter water separator for our engine. And another favorite button, it's our electric button for the engine door. We're just gonna go ahead and push that. And our engine door opens, it's so nice. 
And right before we leave the back side of the coach, we have our last marker light for the passenger side. The Cornerstone sits on the Spartan chassis, K3 chassis, with 605 horsepower and 1950 foot-pound of torque. So you're going to be able to easily tow your stacker trailer, your Suburban plus your toys, whatever you want, 20,000 pound towing capacity, you're gonna be good to go. Now, if you wanna learn more about um, tow vehicles and how National Indoor RV Centers does more towing packages than anyone in the country, check out my tow package video. Integra insulates their engine compartment. I'm not aware of anyone else in the ind industry that does that. I'm gonna cover everything here in the engine compartment, but first and foremost, if you happen to have some kind of breakdown at night and you need to be back here in the engine compartment in the evening, there is a light. So you can easily turn that on. Happened to me on my RV and 101 trip and it was really helpful to have that light back in this compartment. Over here to the right, we've got our engine air filter minder. So when that gets up to the red line, it's time to change that air filter. Then we have the dipstick for our engine oil. We can test that here. We can fill it here. Our coolant, and you can see that bulb that it's full. Now you always wanna check that before every trip. I go over my pre-trip um, pre checklist in my RVing 101 series as well, and you can just email me at angie at nirvc.com if you'd like a copy of that. You wanna make sure you never fill this when the engine is um, hot because you will get burned, very, very hot. Then we've got our engine block heater. So if it's a cold snowy morning like we had in Texas this February, you're gonna to wanna to come back here, plug that in and warm up that engine block before you start anything up. Right here, you see this little black box. It has these little uh, connectors there. This is the swishing sound when you go into reverse. If you needed to disconnect that, that's where you do it. I don't recommend it because that is for your safety and for people around you that, so they make sure they know that you're backing up. The transmission check and fill here. And then this is the air cleaner for the engine. If you look up at the corner of your cornerstone, you're gonna see kind of a, a vented area there. That's where you're going to bring in ambient air from outside to then to the air filter, to the air cleaner for your engine. From the top down, if you look at the very top of the cornerstone rear cap, you've got your marker lights, then you've got your third camera contributing to that bird's eye view, and then you're gonna see Integra, that's gonna be backlit at night, and it's red, it looks awesome, I love it. And then you come all the way down here, we've got our hitch, and we've got our seven-way lights for our tow vehicle, and the airline for the brakes for our tow vehicle. And of course we have the beautiful cornerstone med flap for the cornerstone. As I come around from the back, we've got our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach. And then we have the side radiator. So there's a couple of things about the side radiator that are really huge benefits. First of all, you just saw it. We're in the engine compartment. You can see how accessible everything is for service and maintenance on your engine because that radiator is over here on the side. Integra has specifically in designed these louvers to draw in the ambient air, which is going to allow the fan to not have to work as hard, therefore give you more horsepower. So that's a huge benefit. Then radiator maintenance. One of the things you ought to do occasionally is just take your garden hose, put your thumb over the top, and then just gently rinse off the radiator so that you'll keep it working as efficiently as possible. Here is the DEF fill for the driver's side of the coach. They put a little lock on it for us, but so you can fill that DEF from passenger side or driver's side. Our first blind spot monitor sensor for the driver's side of the coach tag axle, second blind spot monitor for the driver's side of the coach, our first dark docking light, marker light, and we have a little storage compartment here for our stinky slinky or macerator hose. So you can see, just pull that out, stows away nice and neat, and it's not rolling around in your wet bay, which is our next compartment. So the wet bay is great. Everything's nicely labeled. We've got the filter for our water here in the wet bay. 
We have a tank monitor so we can look and see what our freshwater tank is like, our gray and our black, and it'll let us know what levels those are at. We can turn on a light back here, which is handy in the night. And then we've got the water pump we can turn on right here. We have our black tank valve, and those are electric, gray tank valve, electric. We can turn the macerator on, and another spot where we can turn on the light back here. Our fresh um, fill for our water tank and hook up to city, so we just follow the directions there. Um, fresh water connection, and then we can connect our hose right here. We've got an added filter on the water line here. You can see more about this if you watch my RV 101 series where I show you how I hook everything up and then take it all, put it all back when I'm you know, breaking down camp. But I think it's really helpful, especially if you're new to RVing, something you might want to check out. And then one of the huge features that I love, of course, we've got the grommet here. So we can shut the compartment tightly once uh, we're all done with the, the work here, but also the power reel. So we can just retract that right back into the wet bay. Then we've got a spot here for our soap paper towel, and we have the shower. Love that shower, love the shower. We have hot and cold, so if you wanna rinse off after the day at the beach, or if you've been out riding your side-by-sides and you're all dirty, you don't wanna track that into your coach. Now this is the tool that allows us to change out that filter. This is not for blowing bubbles. You know, that's what it looks like, right? <laughs> um, so just behind this door here, you can see our Thetford Sanicon system. Uh, this is where we connect just under here if we need to do a gravity dump and we've got some hot and cool low point drains in here as well. Up above we have the system here where if I need to shut off the water just to my shower I can turn it off here and allow water to the rest of the devices inside the coach so that's a great feature. And this is the exhaust for our aqua hot um, hydronic heating system for our on-demand hot water and furnace. Midship, we have our driver's side security light with motion sensor and our fourth camera for our 360 bird's eye view once we're inside the coach. Here is the 450 diesel aqua hot. This is gonna give you your on-demand hot water and your furnace once you um, go below like 35 degrees. Also will provide um, the coiling is in the floor so that's going to give you your in-floor heating as well. I love that we've got the power reel for our 50 amp shore power cord. Again we've got the grommets here so we can thread that through and then close up the compartment tightly and then it is on a power reel. One of those things I love. We've got the RV power protection transfer switch and just a little monitor here for our aqua hot system. You'll also see the low point drains in the very back of this compartment, the blue and the red drains, the fuel filter for our aqua hot, and the coolant for the aqua hot. And our cable input. The pass through compartment from the other side, you so see you can see that I can easily extend this just as far towards the driver's side of the coach as I did towards the passenger side of the coach. So it's gonna come out well beyond the slides. In fact, <laughs> it's gonna make me keep moving here. We also have the filter for your central vac. The second pass-through compartment. I'm not gonna bring this one out because you know how that works, but I do want you to just peek inside here and see the X bracing. The X bracing runs horizontally and vertically throughout the chassis. Uh, this is what Integra adds to the chassis for added rigidity and stability. Basically makes the suspension do the work and it really eliminates any flexing of the coach. Our last big compartment here Fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. Again, that's a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. And we've got the little tab here so we don't forget the cap, always important. Second docking light for the driver's side of the coach. Also, I want you to notice that we have a power window for uh, 
the captain, which is really nice if you're when you're parking the coach, when you just want to talk to your neighbor, uh, when you need to yell directions to your um, the person who's directing you. Remember to always be nice to that person. <laughs> but it's great to have that window, very easy to use. Last compartment here, we have fuses for the front half of the coach. Little pocket for accessories we might want to carry here. We have our light on and off, and then we can, we've got our generator slide extend button, so I'm just gonna push that. Now you do need to have the coach in accessory mode to have the front cap slide out, so you can get to your generator compartment. Our last blind spot monitor sensor for the driver's side of the coach, and last marker light. First thing, is our windshield wiper fluid, so important. And then just below that, we have the wussy horn. Then we have our 12.5 Onan generator. Now, that is more than enough generator. <laughs> you, uh, it's ample. So you shouldn't really be um, popping your breaker, but if you happen to do that, you would reset that right here. And then you can start and stop your generator from here. You can see your hours from here to service the generator. You take off this panel here and you can see you've got your dipstick there and your oil fill here. As much fun as it's been in this sweltering sun, um, 100 plus degrees, today I'm super excited to show you the inside and have some AC. So let's head on in. Before I go inside, I do want to show you this great little drawer right at your entry step. If you want to put dirty shoes in there, leashes, food, um, you know, pet food, whatever. It's just nice to have that spot um, before you head into the coach. And then I do love the backlit Integra sign as you walk in. So lots of things to talk about right when I walk in the door. First of all, great grab handle so I can enter and exit the coach safely. And then I've got my fire extinguisher. So if I need that outside the coach or inside the coach, I can get to it easily. Um, something that I want you to look into is Protang. It's a fire suppression system that uh, National Indoor RV Centers carries exclusively. And I've got a video out there on it. And it will just make you think about um, fire, what you would do in the instance of fire, and maybe buying yourself some extra time with a fire suppression system. Right to the left of the door when I walk in, I've got the main power button. So that's my battery disconnect, and I can easily hit that going in or out of the coach. Then we've got our step light. So this is just gonna illuminate the stairwell so we don't have any missteps. And then the step power. Once I'm in the campground, I want my step to stay extended and I don't want it going in and out every time I open the door. So I'm gonna use that button there. Love this because right when you walk in the door, you can do all the lights on or all the lights off. So if you're leaving, turn those lights off. If you're coming back in, turn them all on. I can do the panel lights here so I can turn that whole panel off or turn it on. I can lock and unlock my cargo bays. I can turn on the lights on the LED lights on the Girard awnings. I can extend or retract my entry door awning. And this is the slide out lights. So um, under the cargo in the slide out on the passenger side of the coach, my porch light, my entry light, and my security um, passenger side and driver side security light, and my entry day, um, my entry sh shades. So if I want to take up the nightshade, I can do that right here at this button and at the Vega Touch. As I come into the coach, we have lots of changes for 2022. First of all, we have all new wood choices, um, new interior packages, and I'll be pointing out some of those features as we go along. In this coach, we went with the almond uh, cabinets. So you can do uppers with linen and then the bottoms with almond. We went all almond on this. You can also go with the auburn wood, which is a little bit darker, or you can go with the very popular stonewall gray that they've had for a few years. Um, and new for 2022, you can also pick a linen throughout. So uppers and lowers in the linen, which is a light white color. So I'm anxious to see a coach when they've got one all done with that wood. Here are your map lights. Now you've got to have the, the on button on the dash for these to work, but once that's on, you can do them dim or a little brighter or take them off altogether. Next cabinet here is super important. 
we've got the monitor here for our solar panels and let us know what kind of power we're bringing into the coach. Here is our AC overrides. So in case for some reason your Vega Touch isn't working, you can turn your AC units on here, one, two, and three. Just make sure you turn those off because they will override the Vega Touch system um, once you've got that up and working. Here we have a backup for our slide rooms in case they're not working um, on the Vega Touch as well. You can bring your slides in here, your kitchen slide, super slide, vanity slide, and your bedroom slide. This is our over the air antenna. So I'm just gonna turn that on and then I'm gonna hit search. It will lock on to local stations and we'll see 16 that we've gotten, so that's great. And here is another place that you can start and stop your generator. They've moved this satellite system to this cabinet here. So this is our HD satellite and you can choose that to be either for direct or dish or you can opt for the in motion satellite center we have the 31 inch samsung tv next cabinet this is where you store all your national indoor rv center hats <laughs> now remember this is our um, ceos he actually does live in this so you're going to see um, things in a lot of the cabinets and drawers as we go through the coach but you do have four extra 110 outlets in this cabinet in this cabinet there are the power control center boxes so Basically, we've got everything in this box, breakers for um, everything here can be run off of shore power when you're plugged in. Everything in this box is run off of your inverter. For 2022, they've eliminated two inverters and we only have one inverter now. So in the past, 30 amps passed through the inverter, now 50 amps pass through the inverter. So it does, there's, there's no need for the two. So what are the three things that inverters do? One, it converts AC to DC and DC to AC, and it passes current through and charges the batteries as needed. The map and reading light for the captain. I love how you can direct that light so it really is handy. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 45F. Now I've turned the captain and the co-captain's chairs around so you can see how much seating you have with this arrangement. So the furniture is all made by Villa. We have new interior colors. So I told you about the new wood colors. Now we have new interior colors. So we have uh, beach, which is a lighter color than this. This is the linen interior. And then there's the sterling interior and you can change your woods. This is the beautiful floor that comes with the linen and the almond wood. Another new feature for 2022 has to do with the seats. So I'm going to get comfortable here. I'm going to go ahead and extend my foot rest. Great viewing for the TV here. And now they've added a massage feature. So you can go to different zones, three different zones. You can select pulse, wave, or zigzag, and then you can increase or decrease the intensity and the speed. So now I'm really going to have a hard time trying to stay awake for that TV show. With Integra, you're going to have a seat belt in every place that you have a secured seat. So you're going to have obviously seat belt here, seat belt here two seat belts in your sofa and a seat belt in each theater seat. Now I want to talk a little bit about your options um, in the 45F. So I've got the theater seats. When you do the theater seats, you can choose to have the sofa here. If you want to have an extra bed, if the grandkids are going to come, or if you think you'll have guests, you can also opt in a fireplace with a wine cooler slash desk that so you have countertop that just goes flows right into your kitchen. So that's another great option. I have pictures of that. You can contact us at National Indoor RV Centers if you'd like to see that option actually in pictures. The other thing that I'm super excited to tell you about is Integra has a new floor plan. It's There's none out yet, but we've got the 45F, all the bonuses to the 45F. The one thing that you cannot do with the 45F is have a booth dinette. So Integra was brilliant, and what they did is they've created a 45D floor plan which flips the kitchen and the theater seating. So your kitchen's gonna be on this side. It creates enough space that now you can have a booth option or the table and chairs in the 45D. You still have the nice walk-in closet. So all the bonuses that you get with the 45F plus 
you can now have a booth if you go with the 45D. So hopefully I didn't just confuse you. Again, give it, give us a call at National Under RV Centers. I can send you a copy of that floor plan. It's been really well received and we have a bunch on order. So we've opted this one in with the bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it out so you can see how much space you have. It's gonna be easily, um, comfortably sleep two adults or, you know, probably four kids. Now with the theater seats, I don't even know if you need the bed because I'd be just as happy to sleep in the theater seats. <laughs> but in case you've got someone that wants a bed, we can do that too. So it easily folds out. And then it's a power blow up mattress. So you've got the mattress covering. You're just gonna plug it in, fill it up again. Really nice and comfortable for two adults. And you've got a little walkway here too. If you need to let Rover out in the middle of the night, or if you need to have just, you know, the ability to walk around the bed and get to the bathroom. Notice the new valances for 2022. Also new hardware in the cornerstone as well. And new lighting fixtures. I love it all, it looks great. Now around the theater seating here, we've got two 110 outlets just behind here. We also have the TV lift, so you can be sitting, sitting in the theater seats and then just push that down and you're gonna have access to that beautiful window if you so wish, if you're in a beautiful resort. And then we've got another keypad here for our entry lights, our porch lights, our entry shades, the front master on and off, and the front day master those are for your day shades and then your front night shades master on and off right here now to sit in the theater seats I want to demo those because they are so comfy love that they are powered so like I said who needs the uh, bed when you've got this like it almost goes horizontal they're so comfy you've got your cup holders here and storage so you can put the remotes in there nice and deep storage too so i'm usually cold and have blankets all around because my husband likes to keep um, the house really chilly so i usually would probably put blankets and stuff in there even snacks you don't even have to get up you can like put the tv up you don't have to leave you got your drink and your snacks <laughs> you're good to go right and then you also have usb chargers in right by the power for your theater seating so you can charge your device while you're sitting here watching TV. All right, right here, sort of to the back and side of the co-captain's chair, you're gonna have two 110 outlets and then you're gonna see that little black dot. You're gonna have two of these in the coach. It's a glass break sensor. So if someone were trying to break into the coach, um, big noise, big break, it would set off an alarm. So that's where the front one is. Normally uh, you can't see it, but with the chairs turned around, it was really easy to see. You may also be wondering what this little black thingamajigger is. <laughs> well, that's your thermistor. That's what communicates to the thermostat for the living room area of the coach to make sure you stay comfortable, um, comfortably warm or comfortably cool, however you have your thermostat set. Just the below the new lighting fixture, which is really cool. Kind of has a linen appearance, appearance with the light on. We've got two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. So you also have one in the chair. Then we have storage above. So again, no dividers through this. Lots of rooms for all your um, paper towels <laughs> and plasticware. Then you have the beautiful buffet. You've got the little accent lighting, nice big window. So sitting here on your patio side, you can be looking over your beautiful campground of the our, RV resort that you're in. And then one of the features I just love with Integra's chairs. First of all, you have a little handle. So easy to move those chairs in and out. And then my next favorite thing is that they swivel. So as you're sitting around, you can kind of rock. Or if you're working here at the desk, you can turn easily. I just think that was like the best idea that they had. Now, if you want to extend this table a little, it's very easy. You just pull it out and push it right in. 
got a little extra space on your table and then we've also got storage below and you've got your subwoofer in this cabinet but there's a little extra space in there and you've got a drawer on each side no handle but there is a lip for you to pull that out moving into the kitchen isn't this beautiful beautiful solid surface countertop we've got the cover here for our induction cooktop anything any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this induction cooktop and then we have a little storage space here for our cover if we don't if we're not using it here is the convection microwave oven nice and big don't be afraid you can bake loaves of bread in there cakes cookies my specialty <laughs> as some of you may have uh, have had those before now we have storage nice deep cabinet there you could easily get an instapot a air fryer in there and we have the extendable countertop here so i always like that option it kind of extends your countertop gives you more prep space and then you still get these nice full extension drawers got a little cutting board really deep drawer so you can get a lot of items in there then we have this great drawer right underneath the cooktop that's what's nice about that induction cooktop is that you still get this full drawer underneath um, where you can store all your national indoor rv center um, chip clips and koozies super important <laughs> and remotes we have the fisher Pikel dishwasher little flip drawer here and then our pull out for our garbage love to have a space for that we also have a space for our sink covers so when we're traveling when we're not using those those will fit nicely right there and they're not going to rattle around again more counter space beautiful residential faucets and and our beautiful granite style blanco sink you may be wondering where you're going to plug in your coffee pot well you can do that right here two Winton outlets and usb outlets and two more right here then we've got this beautiful window which opens and we've got little cabinets on either side where you can put spices i know you'll find something move our popcorn out of the way here a little snack for later another big cabinet of storage we've got our paper goods in here i love the pull out tray so i can get to the very back of that cabinet we're still not done there's more storage another flip tray here another big storage cabinet and then we have the spice cabinet i really love that with adjustable shelves Right here by the buffet, we have another two 110 outlets. Then we have the Whirlpool refrigerator. We have water and ice in the door, and we've got a lock on front. So that's great. You want to make sure you do that before you head out on a trip. It's one of those things you have to really look at your checklist so that you don't forget it because it's just with everything going on, it's one of those things that's easy to forget that in your satellite. Uh, if you want a copy of my checklist, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com and I'll be happy to send that to you. So just hit the unlock. Nice big refrigerator and freezer. And of course, we've got all the essentials. Bluebell, what else do you need? It's like a whole meal in itself. <laughs> but nice deep trays. And our pantry. I really love the pantry. We've got the pull-out shelves that lock into place so they're not going to come out while you're traveling. Before we leave the kitchen, I want to make sure you notice that we have the fantastic fan vent and we can control that on our Vega Touch. To the side of the kitchen, there is a dustpan. Now, I love this feature. You can just sweep everything over to that and it's gonna suck it all away. 
if you need to pull out the hoses for the central vac, this is where you're going to attach those and they'll go to the front and the rear of the coach. Here is the uh, CO and propane gas alarm. Two more thermistors here for the midship of the coach and our half bathroom. One of the things that I love that Integra does I think really better than anyone is they have a bigger half bath than anyone else. So it's quite roomy. Now a lot of people, um, one of the spouses <laughs> or partners gets the half bath and the other one gets the full bath. So if I get to be the one that gets the half bath, I want this one. It's nice and big. Another big change for 2022 is Integra went back to the Tecma toilets. Now inside this bathroom, I've got a towel hook here. Like I mentioned, window. We've got storage, beautiful solid surface countertop, two 110 outlets, storage here, a little microblaze. Again, I talk about this in my RV 101 video, so check that out. It's going to make everything really um, liquid in your black tank and easy to, to dispose of. Another little towel hook here, and then we've got the controls for the ceiling lights, the accent lights, our fantastic fan, and our shades, our day and night shades. All right, now for the Vega Touch. So if you've watched a video of mine before, you know that I love the Vega Touch because it's super user friendly. Um, if you're not sure how to work something, you can just ask a question and it will give you all the answers and then you can take that away. You can also download everything that's on the Vega Touch to an app on your phone. So right now, just looking at the screen here, I can black this out so that there's no nothing on the screen. So at night, you may want to do that. You can also make a setting so that it will black out at night if you want as well. But it's going to tell you the temperature in um, the bedroom, kitchen, living room, baggage compartment, and then exterior. So on this screen, it's just going to show you your basic date, time, temperature. So let's go ahead and go to our home screen. Now we can see that we still have that temperature settings across the top, um, a fresh tank warning. So it's going to let us know that we need to add water there. We can go to our interior lights and our exterior lights, and we can set custom settings for those lights, exterior and interior. We can do the same with our day shades. So we can do all of our day shades up, all of our day shades down. Same with the night shades, all up, all down, away and stow. Then over here, it's gonna show us that we are connected to shore power and let us know what volts are coming into the coach. 119 volts on line one, 119 on line two. Also give us a reading for our chassis batteries and our Haas batteries. And we can do our auto gen start settings here. We can go into that and set that up if you want to do that from your Vega Touch. Inverter, you can turn that on and off here. We can also turn on our generator here and we can see the hours that it has run. Our tank level, so it's showing that we are empty in our fresh tank. That's why we're getting that warning over there. Our gray tank is 20% full and our black tank is 35% full. We can turn on our water pump and our engine preheat here. Our diesel heat and our electric heat and we can select that source. Now I can go to my lights. So I can go basic mode and this way I can turn off a whole area at once if I want. So brightness, I can adjust that brightness and then leave it there or I can go to control mode. And right here you can see that you can do each light individually if you'd like. Shades, you can do the same thing with the shades. You can do pick a shade here and you can do your day shade up and down or you can do your night shade up and down. It's just that simple. Coach mode. This is your exterior lights that are on that it's showing you right now. But this is where I can bring in my slides. So I can extend them or retract them all from right here or from the app on my phone. And then new for 2022, I forgot to tell you this when we were outside, there we have power window awnings. So no more of the little metal pole trying to loop through the, the um, fabric, you know, pulley thing. Now we can just extend and retract them right here. Driver side window awnings and passenger side window awnings. Then we have our temperature control. 
So you can see what the temperature is in the bedroom, kitchen, living room, and exterior baggage compartment. Now I want you to know it truly is that hot in Texas today. That's why I was sweating earlier, guys. <laughs> um, you can change your setting here. We're cool in the bedroom, but you can put it on cool, auto, heat, um, just the fan. You can do your fan settings here, and then your temperature settings here, your heat pumps, your aqua hot, your floor heat. So a lot of the times I like to keep the floor heat on just low. So I hop out of bed and my feet are nice and cozy, but it's still cool in the coach. And then you can set a schedule for your AC night schedule. Um, you can also control the fans here for your kitchen fan, your mid bath fan and your rear fan. You can turn on your diesel heat and your electric heat. This is for your dash radio. So if you have like Sirius radio on and you wanna change the channels, you can do that here. They moved this last year. They had the TVs on this as well. TVs are no longer on the Vega Touch. Now this is where you can kind of customize your screen. So you can edit your home screen. So say I want to add um, the entryway to my home screen. I'm gonna save and close. Now the entry is there, and now I want to edit that and put it on my home screen. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna edit home screen. And from here, I'm gonna choose those things that I want. I wanna have my panel lights on my home screen and my entry lights on my home screen. Now when I go back, there they are. Super easy. And if I wanna take them off, I just go back here, deselect them, and they're gone. So you can totally customize that screen. Here's your settings screen. Now this is where you're going to pair your phone um, with your Vega Touch. So you just scan this code, follow the directions, and you can do everything on your phone that you can from the Vega Touch here. And then you've just got different settings here, your display mode, software, sleep, user images, and pairing. So let's say you have a question on the screen. You're not sure what something is. So you can just hit your question mark. Little question marks will pop up. So whatever you have a question on, go ahead and hit that. And then it's gonna tell you um, what the stow and away button does. So you push and hold away or stow to set up an action. And then when you've selected the timer, will indicate the countdown to activation. It basically, it just explains what those buttons do. You can close and go back. If it's answered your questions, just go ahead and hit the question mark again and they'll disappear. Moving into the master bedroom, Integra has given us a new headboard for 2022. Again, the nice tapered valances, beautiful bedspread, and we have the sleep number bed with storage underneath. You'll also see that we've got our extra, we've got nightstand on each side of the bed with two 110 outlets and USB charging ports and a little cupboard. Also we have storage above. Nice and deep, again not divided, so get big plastic bins and you can really put stuff all the way to the back of that cabinet and it's easy to get. We've got the reading lights on both sides of the bed. Under the cabinets, we have the control panel here for our ceiling lights, our reading lights, accent lights, our over the overhead lights, courtesy lights, our panel lights. We can turn that off so that's not shining in your face at night. We have the master day shades and the master night shades, entry door, lock and unlock, and the master light switch on and off, which is great because you don't have to get out of bed to double check if you turned off all the lights. And then we've got the switch for our ceiling fan. To the left side of the bed, there's the thermistor for the bedroom. So again, that's communicate with the thermostat. And then let's check out the storage that we have across from the bed. So big wardrobe. We also have our uh, Sony uh, Blu-ray DVD player. HDMI inputs, everything in there, adjustable shelves, drawers, so six 
drawers and another wardrobe two more drawers and then we have our 32 inch TV Samsung TV and storage behind that and our safe along with the TV we have our Bose soundbar then we have a nice little buffet area here with our window and we've got two 110 outlets another control panel again ceiling lights reading lights accent vanity courtesy lights bathroom lights day shades nightshade master light on and off so one of the big benefits to the 45f floor plan is that you have a flat floor all the way until you get to your walk-in closet so from the bedroom um, you know you're getting up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and you stumble across that usually there's a step here there's no step here I feel like it makes the bathroom feel bigger and I just like not having that step until you go into the closet so you come into oh as we come into the bathroom we've got another pocket door here we're gonna have a full-length mirror on this door and I haven't mentioned, but one of the factors that contributes to the quietest riding and best handling coach on the market day period is the fact when you release your park brake, there is a suction, a, a uh, lock basically for these pocket doors that holds them into place. So they're not gonna be rattling as you go down the road. So a huge feature. Coming into the master bathroom, we have the toilet here, cabinet behind it, and there actually is a little storage there great place for toilet paper window two 110 outlets now this is another feature I know it's simple but these are things that really matter when you're living in your coach or spending a lot of time on an extended vacation uh, towel a towel rack here another towel rack here and then we've got the hook here we've got the little towel holder here for the vanity area and then this beautiful vanity love the double sinks beautiful solid surface and really cool sink. I'm not even sure what kind of material that is, but it looks gorgeous. Residential faucets, I love the backsplash. We have the two 110 outlets on both sides and then this side also has the USB charging port. And for 2022, they've added handles to the medicine cabinet. Look at all that space, oh my goodness. There's so much storage with the medicine cabinets. Flip drawer on both sides and then check out all that storage. So much space, full extension drawers, another light panel for the bathroom, so ceiling, accent, lab lights, bedroom ceiling, fan speed for your fan in the bathroom, you can put that fan up or down. You've got your day shades, your night shades, your bed shade, and your bed, your bed day shade, and your bed night shade. Now for the nice big shower. This is 33 by 41 inches big. And then we've got the nice residential faucets, the shower head, the handheld device. We also have the Aquaview shower miser. So basically you can recirculate that water um, in your system so that when you turn it on here, it's already warm. So that's gonna eliminate wasting water in your freshwater tank and needlessly filling up your gray tank. So you just wait, turn the lever, wait for the little bulb to turn on. Once it lights up, that means the water's warm and you're good to go. We also have the flip down shower seat. So ladies, very easy to shave your legs. We have the ceiling light for the closet. And this is my favorite part about the F. This closet is so big because you have full access to the rear closet. A lot of times you have to open one door or the other. Sometimes that works for some people. I really like that you have full access. Um, you can see you have to have a blue NIRVC shirt if you live in this corner. So, <laughs> so we've just got a few here. But look at all that space. I love it. Space below, space above, the shoe holder there in the back and then all of this space here with adjustable shelves and look at those drawers three nice big deep drawers and then your laundry never has to leave 
unless it's on your body, this room. Washer and dryer, Whirlpool washer and dryer. And we've got an extra drawer at the bottom here. We can put our dryer sheets in there. So nice. I just love the walk-in closet. I always like to show the coach with the slides in. So this is the 44F. You can see that I could easily get into my pantry, grab a package of chips. <laughs> Very easy to get into the bathroom. And the refrigerator. Through the kitchen, plenty of room. And then it gets a little tight when you've got sofa and sofa, but you can still easily get through. Finally to the captain's chair. So lots to go over here. First of all, we have the captain's seat, which is so comfortable. Again, Villa uh, is who makes the seat. You can adjust the armrest right here. Then we've got all the controls that are right at our, our fingertips, forward, back, up, down, you name it. You can make it just perfect for you. Then we've got the control for our backrest and our lumbar support. And then this would be for our footrest when we've got the chair turned around into the living room. And then we have cool, and heated seats and we've got high medium low and off so we have lots to go over here we have a spot here for our cell phone then we have the tag dump I always just keep this in auto battery boost so I talked about that when we we're in the near the battery compartment where we want to tie the chassis and the house batteries together in case we come back to our coach and it's dead we tie them together Hopefully that will give us enough uh, power to then start our generator, let the generator run, start the engine. This is our battery disconnect and it has a little protective cover there so our furry friends or grandkids can't turn that on or off without us, you know, wanting it messed with. <laughs> then we have the column tilt. So that's gonna allow me to adjust the steering column to where it's just perfect for me and column telescope. So I can bring that forward or push that back. And then I have the slide, the pedal slide. So I can bring the pedals forward or push them away from me. I talked about the power window when we were outside and this is the control for the power window. Really nice. Wanted to show you the power window. It just goes straight up this year. So that's really nice, especially if you've got a mark on in your, you know, say where you park your coach. You've got a spot for your tire. You can easily just look out the window and make sure you're on that mark. Talk to your neighbor and uh, talk to your person that's backing you up. Then we have our ICC lights. They brought these back for us. So we have our brights where we can let a trucker know that it's safe for them to pull. You know, they've passed me and now they can pull back into the lane. Or we can say thank you if they've done the same for us and just let them know that we appreciate them helping us out. This is our auxiliary brake or engine brake. So we're gonna turn them on and off. I like that these are red buttons that are easy to find while I'm dri driving. And then you can set it for high, medium, or low. These are gonna control the day shades. So driver's side, front day shade, passenger front day shade, door shade and then the passenger uh, shade. Now this I will demonstrate as I go through everything up on the dash. But just in general here, this is where we turn on our air horn on and off and you'll see a little horn come up on your screen. Defrost for your ex external mirrors. And then you can adjust those external mirrors right here. Cup holder. And then we're back here to our lights. So we've got our headlights, marker lights and they're off, our fog lights, our accent lights or our sea lights, docking lights and our map lights. This is our equalizer system, hydraulic leveling jacks. The power is on. I'm gonna go ahead and press auto level. Now, if I were to get an excessive slope message that means I would need to maybe move the coach a little bit and then try again. I can do that two times, but if I get that message a third time, I may wanna wait 20 to 30 minutes just to let the pump cool down before I try to level again. 
So the system has stopped beeping. That's letting us know that it's still leveling. All four corners are lit up with a red dot and it's silent. So now I can turn off the coach. You can also air level um, with the cornerstone and I'll show you that because that's done inside the dash menu. Now I'm ready to leave the campground. I'm gonna go ahead and retract all. Just below the equalizer system, we have our two USB ports and a 12 volt outlet. Down by my foot, you'll see a little green cap there. And that is a Deutsch plug. That's where a technician at National Indoor, National Indoor RV centers can plug in to the coach and read diagnostics off the coach. So on the steering column itself, we've got a little metal lever here. Those are gonna be our hazards. and every rv show i see hazards going off in coaches because people don't know how to turn them off all you have to do is hit the turn signal and it's going to turn them off so then we have our turn signal here and our brights if we flash our brights we can just pull that forward on the steering column there's toggle buttons so this is for volume control and this will allow me to scroll through the main menu on my dash so I can be at my radio, my media center, XM radio, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera, nav system. You can scroll through that whole screen with, that, with this button. Then we can hang up a phone call if we Bluetooth into the coach. This is our cruise control. So I can turn it on and off from here. Set, resume, and cancel. Now a little trick if you wanna air up your coach faster, you go ahead and hit it on and then hit the set button and you'll see your RPMs go up and you're gonna air up your coach much quicker. Center is our horn. So we've got our air horn there and we can pick up a phone call here. This is going to control our windshield wipers. So we have the fluid in our windshield wipers. We can turn them on high or low. And if we wanna do our own intermittent speed, we can press this button. So we hit it, count one 1,000 to 1,000, hit it again. Now it's going to continue to go at that rate until we turn it off. The toggle buttons on the steering column here are gonna be for uh, selecting your radio station or scan and seek. And then we've got our nav system. We can pull that up quickly, just at the touch of a fingertip, we can pull that up. Let's go over our dash screen, which we control with this dial here. So you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner that I can scroll through different information with the dial here. If I wanna stop and land on something and change it, then I'm gonna just hit the center button. And I can change the distance here. I can disable my adaptive cruise control, make the distance short, medium, or long. Go ahead and keep it short. Press to accept and then I can switch out of that. I can adjust my screen brightness here. Go to my settings. TPMS, which is our tire pressure monitoring system. So that comes standard on the cornerstone. So you can see here that you can see your um, tire pressure and temperature. Then if you want to add your tow vehicle, you're just gonna press yes, and then you'll go to tow tire tow configuration here and then you can pick what kind of vehicle you're going to tow so we've got a toad there or we can scroll through depending on what we're planning on towing I'm going to take it back to toad here just click in and then lock it in and go back and exit so I can be watching the tire pressure and temperature of my toad as well as the coach. Then we've got our nav system and we can zoom that. Sound volume, you can adjust that. So your collision mitigation system, if you don't want that beeping to be too loud, you can go ahead and turn it way down or turn it way up. Units, this is just gonna be like temperature, your speed. Do you want it in miles or kilometers? Miles, same with temperature, Fahrenheit, Celsius. Service reminders, screen position. So you can actually move the screen up or down 
uh, just by rotating the knob, you see how that's going up. I need it all the way to the top so I can see it beyond the steering column. And then diagnostics and configuration. If I want to quickly toggle to easy steer, I can just hit this middle button here and go to easy steer or I can scroll through other quick settings that I want to see. My tire pressure, trip, information. So that's just easy way to get to those quickly. Then my pages here, the three pages, I'll demo that while I'm driving the coach. That allows me to put my nav system. We've got the new nav system, which is the IGO Primo system. Now that Rand McNally is not supporting RV use anymore. Or I can put my 360 camera right up there on the dash when I'm in drive mode and my park, park brake is released. Another thing that you can do on the cornerstone is that you can air level your coach. So you'd go here to your leveling, press for options, auto level, high ride, low ride, more. So this is where I can actually auto level. I can do certain sides. Say I want to go dump my tanks. I may want to raise my passenger side of the coach, lower my driver's side of the coach so that the flow is better. So you can do that all here or if you want to air level versus uh, doing your hydraulic jacks because you're just staying overnight, you can do it from this screen. We have the keyless ignition for the cornerstone. So you must have the key fob nearby for it to work. So you can just press it once and it will light up yellow. That's for accessory mode. If you press it again, it will go to ignition mode. Again, it will light up yellow. Then if you wanna go ahead and start it, put your foot on the brake and press it again. It will be green and it will turn on. Then to stop the coach or so to turn it off, you can press the brake and push the button. It will go off quicker. But if you don't press the brake and just press the button and hold it, it will go off. Next to the ignition is the parking brake. So you're going to pull to apply and push to release. When you release the parking brake and you go into your drive, into drive, you're gonna have an airlock on your front entry door. So that's gonna make a nice, create a good seal on that front door. If you need to let someone in, once you've already released the parking brake and you're in drive, you need to make sure you go back to neutral and then put on the parking brake so that it releases that airlock so that you don't break it because you wanna keep that seal nice and tight so that you don't have any air noise from your door. Our Allison transmission, so we have reverse, neutral, and drive and then we can go into mode, we can be in economy mode. I always drive in economy mode. And then you can check your um, transmission diagnostic. So you're gonna press your press, plus and your minus together. Oil level invalid because we haven't been driving, but you can just scroll through the menu here. Oil life 99%, filters are okay. Trans health is okay. There's no codes. Now you can also use your plus and your minus to manually shift. Say you're going up or down a mountain and you want to manually shift, this is where you would do that. Check out the beautiful dash here, so clear and easy to read. So I'm just gonna to go to my main menu and I've already scrolled through all these items, but I'm just gonna go a little bit more in depth on our camera here. So you can see all the different views that I can choose from. But I always go back to the view that I like the best, which is that bird's eye view. You can also do a quick to the nav system. Again, this is a new nav system, the Primo system for 2022. And then you've got your volume control here. AC controls here and your fan speed, HDMI input and USB charging port. Here in the cockpit, we have the JBL premium audio system with 11 speakers. So you're going to love it. Just around the corner here, we have two 110 outlets, cup holders, little space for your keys, little drawer there that's nice and tight so it's not gonna rattle while you go down the road. You're gonna have all the same controls on your co-captain seat as you did on your captain seat, but of course we love our foot rests the most. And I always like to extend my slide my step cover, just so that while you're in travel mode, you don't accidentally set down into the stairwell. 
few buttons over here to my left. So I've got the visor control for front, my front visor, the door visor, and my window here, my day shade, two USB charging ports, the slide step extend, which I just did, and then a cup holder and a little spot for my cell phone. Finally time for the test drive. Now, if you've never driven a Class A diesel before, you have nothing to be afraid of, other than it's like 45 feet long. <laughs> just kidding. Um, really, you have such great mirrors, cameras, the 360 camera. There's so many aids to help you when you're driving this. It's really not difficult. And you need to, need to learn a few things. Um, your turning point is the center of your front axle, which is actually behind you, kind of the back of my seat. Um, so I'm not gonna start my turn until I get to that, uh, the center of my front axle. So you pull out is a little uncomfortable at first, but you'll be fine. Um, and then you just take your time. You're in an RV, we're having fun. You can see I'm gonna put on my turn signal and I can see down the full side of my coach here. I'm gonna go ahead and watch myself out of the turn. The mirrors are so great. I literally can watch my rear tires in my mirror. If I'm getting close to the curb, guess what? I'm just going to slow down, adjust, and, and miss it. Now, if you hit the curb with your back tire and you're towing a, a, a car, guess what else is gonna hit the, the curb? Your car, <laughs> the tow. So um, just take your time, have fun. Another um, little hint that I'll share, if I heard it once, I heard it 10,000 times when I was first learning to drive a Class A diesel, and that is hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. So I didn't say stay in the left lane because then you'll have people mad at you because they want to get around you. That's what you have to watch for in RVs is people that are, they don't want to be behind this big house, so they'll try to get around you. So you're just kind of always watching out, but just uh, there are more things to watch for, but it's really fun. Once you get on the freeway, you put your cruise control on, you've got the adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation system on the cornerstone. So really it's a breeze. I get on the freeway, I'll set my cruise control and you'll see it. Take my foot off the accelerator, and then I'm just here to enjoy the ride and enjoy the scenery. With this big wraparound windshield, I have great visibility. The ergonomically placed mirrors are so easy to view. It just makes it really simple to drive. We're also gonna notice that we've got the blind spot monitor. So you saw those sensors when I was walking around the, the outside of the coach. You've got three on each side. So as I get up to where I might wanna you know, change lanes, I'll get a little light in a triangle in my mirror letting me know that there's something in my blind spot. Again, another safety feature. We also have the electronic stability control, um, independent front suspension. We're on the Spartan chassis with the X bracing. So that's what gives us such a nice, quiet, smooth ride. We also have Easy Steer. So Easy Steer is a computer aided driving assist. If I have a strong 30 mile hour wind pushing against a coach, um, a lot of times you know, you'll finish your day driving, you're tense in your shoulders from trying to hold the coach in its lane. You're never gonna have to do that with Easy Steer. Literally, you just keep your hands on the steering wheel to just keep going straight down the road, but you're not ever gonna be fighting the wind um, or if you have a camber to the road, again, the computer is going to detect that and adjust for you. So it makes driving this a breeze. At National Indoor RV Centers, we totally um, highly recommend for you to come and take a test drive. Um, our ultimate goal is for you to be happy. We want customers for life, and we that happens when you buy the right coach, when you're happy with your purchase. Um, and so anything we can do ahead of time to make sure that you've picked the right coach, we want to help you with. Uh, we also do financing, we take in trades, we do consignments. Um, typically most people will finance a coach like this for 20 years. Uh, that way they can spread that payment out over time and have extra money to enjoy the RV and lifestyle. So I'm getting ready here to enter the freeway. I'm up on a high bridge and it's got a nice little turn to it. And again, I'm not gonna feel any kind of sway um, in the cornerstone because it just is a nice, 
super stable ride. And then once I get on the freeway, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cruise control. So I've got my cruise control on. And then once I get up to speed, I'm going to put my blinker on. I safely get into my lane here. Once I'm in my lane, I'll go back to the 360 camera. Now one of the cool things is I can go ahead and on my dial over here, I can put that my nav system right on my front dash screen or I can put my 360 camera just moves all my other dials to the side so if that's something that I really like watching I'd rather look straight ahead have my eyes straight ahead I can do that just push of a button switch that out or I can go back to having my my speed and RPM right in front of me all right I may get up to speed here 65 miles per hour. I'm going to turn on my cruise control and hit set. Now I can take my foot off the accelerator and I'm going to let the coach do the work. So now you can see my following distance and you can set that too. You can have it short, medium, or far. I have it set for short, so it's going to go ahead and slow me down, keeping me a safe following distance from the vehicles in front of me. My easy steer dial is very easy to get to as well. I can scroll through the information and I can adjust that. You also have tire pressure monitoring system, which comes standard, so you can monitor your tires plus your towed vehicle as well. Now today it is super hot here in Texas. You saw me sweating bullets out there when I was doing the exterior of the coach. Um, so this is one thing you really want to watch, especially on a hot day. You want to make sure you always keep your fuel level above a quarter of a tank. Once you get below a quarter of a tank, you're not going to be able to run your generator. And for any passengers I have with me in the coach today, they're going to be dying in the back of this coach without me being able to run my ACs. So as long as I've got over a quarter tank of fuel, I can have my generator running and I can be running um, my AC units to keep everyone nice and comfortable. So I always say that Integras are the quietest riding, best handling coaches on the market today, period. And today, my decibel reader is at 69.8 on this cornerstone. So nice and quiet. I've got the front dash AC going because it's just too awfully hot to um, be driving without that. And so typically you're going to have either the AC on or the heat on. And I can talk at a normal level with my co-captain here. We're having a nice conversation. We're not yelling at each other. And that's the beauty of a diesel pusher is that your engine's in the back of the coach. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, so what are you waiting for? You need to come and visit us at National and RV Centers and find the perfect coach for you. So you can visit us in Las Vegas, Nevada, Surprise, Arizona, Louisville, Texas, Lawrenceburg, Georgia, and Laverne, Tennessee. That is our temporary location while we build our permanent location in Lebanon. And before the end of the year, we'll be announcing a sixth location. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so stay tuned. I'll be uh, sharing that information with you when we're, um, we've got it all set in stone. So really, we'd love to have you come and visit us at National Indoor RV Centers or go to our webpage, nirvc.com, and see all the coaches that we have available. Thank you so much for joining me today on my tour of the 45F Integra Cornerstone 2022. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. Well, MSRP is $774,630. If you'd like to know what we can sell it to you for, give us a call at 469-277-1330 or go to our website, nirvc.com or email me personally, Angie at nirvc.com. We wanna help, help you, we wanna make it a very enjoyable experience. We'll do whatever we can 
to make it easy and a lot of fun as you get into the RV and lifestyle. Now remember with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my protein video, my paint and body, in case you ever get a little boo-boo on your coach, and Retroband. Version, version two is coming soon to you. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.